Hi guys, it's Nikki, Creative Nikki's Homemade Crafts. Today I would like to teach you how to make the Sunset Boomerang Scarf, which expands and expands and expands the further along you go. And because of the colors, that's why I called it the Sunset Boomerang, but the shape is a boomerang. Okay, so you start on this side and then you're just going to expand over. The pattern repeats itself and because of the way how the pattern is written, you will expand automatically. So it is very easy and very straightforward and I'll teach you how to do that. So first, you are going to need a 5 millimeter hook and two of the Karen cotton cakes. Of course you can use any other yarn if you wish to. Uh, just so you know, this one is in the color Holy Hawk and it's a medium four. So you can use um, any other yarn you wish that is a worsted weight of yarn, but I really liked this yarn and used it for that purpose. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm gonna put this right here so you guys can see what I'm doing. So you're gonna start out with 11 chains, which I have here already. So 11 chains and then we're going to do a row of double crochets, but the very first one is going to be three double crochets in the first stitch and then we're doing a decrease in the last. Okay, so in the third chain from the hook, you're going to do three double crochets. And then you're doing t one double crochet in each stitch or each chain until you reach the last two. Okay. So now on the last two, we're going to do a decrease, a double crochet decrease. Okay, chain two and turn. Okay, so now you're skipping that very first stitch right there where my thumb is. Okay, let me see if I can zoom it in a bit more. And making sure that you can see what I'm doing. And make it a little brighter. There we go. Okay, so this one right here, this stitch right here, that's where, which one we're skipping. So we have a chain of two, skip, skip, uh, skip a stitch, then double crochet, chain one, you're skipping another stitch, then in the next one, double crochet, chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet, chain one, so you're repeating that until you reach the very last one, okay? Oh, I just realized I forgot a chain. Chain one, double crochet, chain one, and then in the very last one, you're going to do a double crochet, a chain one, and another double crochet. Chain two, and turn. So now you're repeating those two rows all the way over until you reach the length that you desire. For me, it was exactly two of those Karen cakes. And this is just a little bit that I had left over, okay? so. You are now going to repeat the two rows. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. So in the very first stitch right here at the bottom of your chain two, you're going to do three double crochets. Then in each stitch, one double crochet that includes the space. So it would be the space, the chain or the stitch right here, 
just keep on going until they reach the last two where we're going to do a decrease again. Sorry about that, my yarn was a little tangled. Okay, oops, so here are the last two that would be in that chain right here in that stitch, uh, that uh, space, and that last stitch right there. That's when we're doing the decrease. So it's a double crochet decrease. Okay, chain two and turn. Let me kind of take care of my yarn for a second, so make sure I can do one more row for you guys. I apologize, I did not know it's going to tangle. Alright, so let's do one more row, which is a repeat of this one. So again, you're skipping a stitch and you're going into the next one, double crochet, chain one, skip a stitch, then double crochet, chain one, skip, double crochet, chain one, skip, double crochet, chain one, skip, double crochet, chain one, and then the very last one right here where my thumb is, we are going to do a double crochet, a chain one, and another double crochet. And now you're chaining two and you're repeating those again. Now you can already see that it's expanding. Okay, it's going to go and over this side is going to go slower than this side and therefore it's going to expand outwards just like a boomerang looks like. Okay, so I have this here right next to each other so you can see. So it will go bigger and bigger and look extremely pretty in the end. Now this yarn is cotton and acrylic so it's a combination of both so it makes it soft but still very very light and uh, nice to wear and extremely um, soft. Alright, um, I hope this video was helpful on how to do the Sunset Boomerang Scarf and I hope you can leave a like, a comment and a share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching you guys! Bye!